welcome back to my channel this is Nikki Wonder I'm here today to do a video about my baby if you guys haven't seen it already on my channel I introduce princess Miha or just Miha um, to our household about a week ago and we've been just enjoying her she's a little mellow right now because she had a an experience today at the vet and so she's just kind of relaxing with mommy right now um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys just for a second about, you know, what it's been like with her. Um, before I go into it, please be sure to take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And <laughs> so she wants to get down. <laughs> okay. We're gonna let her down. But, um, yeah, so take a minute to subscribe to my channel and you guys can, um, hear more stories about baby Miha as she's walking around here, um, while I'm filming. But um, yes, guys, so it's been about a week or so with her and she is, of course, the most adorable little kitten in the world. She's into everything, um, but she also has, you know, grown already in a week, you know, as far as her, her abilities as a, as a kitten. She's, she knows her name, you know, she comes when she's called, she... I mean, I'm really am fascinated with that. And from what I heard, it's not common for cats to immediately know their name. It takes a while, but we call her, you know, Miha, Miha, and she comes. Uh, she comes and, and ready to do whatever it is we want to do with her. But so the things, uh, what I've discovered in being the mommy of a newborn again, <laughs> you know, my son is 16 almost. Uh, and so it has been a long time since I've had a little, little person or a little, little living thing in the house to take care of. And she has, for one big thing, she has changed mommy's schedule. Um, I guys over the weekend, I normally like to sleep in Saturday morning. Don't call me. Don't bother me. That's my morning to just sleep until I feel rested. Not happening with her. You know, she's up in mommy's lap on the bed pawing and crying and ready to be fed at 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning and you know it's so you can't tell them no they're they're helpless without you they're they need you and so i'm remembering what that's like with my son um he was up six o'clock you know crying and ready to be fed and you just have to do it. Your mommy, your, your daddy, you know, you have to get up with them. And so that's one thing that she's done for me and my husband. And she has reminded us what it's like to have a newborn in the house, because as soon as you feed her, she wants to play and then she's up. And so, um, that was one big thing. Another thing that I've, uh, discovered is the importance of, making sure you tend to their every need. Um, we've been done a lot of research and a lot of, uh, you know, mainly internet research, but, you know, calling around and looking for the best food for her. You know, you can't just buy any baby food, you know, you have to buy the actual good stuff. And so we're just, Oh, this brand is better than this brand and this brand will be good for her nutrients. And we're just all into that right now. And I just remember as a, the parent of a small child, you know, what's the best baby food and how do we eat organic, get organic baby food and all that kind of stuff. And so she has caused us to go back into that mode of, you know, making sure you get everything she needs. If you remember, if you have babies or newborn babies, you know that they, they have to have all kinds of accessories, you know, with a child, it's car seats, it's, you know, you're up on the, um, high chairs and the, all that kind of stuff. Well, with kittens, it's kind of the same thing. You know, there needs to be a scratch post in every room. There needs to be a litter box on both floors of the house. There has to be, um, toys that she can't swallow vacuum the floors because you might drop a piece of paper that she eats and digests and then it's bad for her. So it's like having a little child in the house again. And while it's tiring and I'm very tired right now, I couldn't love her more. I mean, she, she really is just a little blessing. Um, it actually has also blessed our relationship. My husband, who was 250% against an animal in the house, he was against cats in general. He warmed up to maybe getting a dog one day. And then for him to let her in like this, he is not the man I marry now. He is, you know, my husband is a big, tall guy and he is holding little football Mia like 
this precious little baby. She is in his lap all the time. You know, the places where he was like, she's not coming in the room. Guys, she's in the room. Okay, she's not coming in on the bed. Guys, she gets up on the bed. I mean, she is really just changing him and making him soft. He worries about her. You know, if she falls or something, he's like, is she okay? Is she okay? So he's becoming this overly sensitive guy and everyone has noticed it. Friends, family, they're looking at him like, uh, who are you? And he's like, what? She's my little girl. So he's taking so much time and to attend to her needs. Uh, we both went with her to the vet today and guys, she had her first baby checkup with the vet and they had to do the thing, the probe up the backside and oh, the look on her face. And she cried and she looked at mommy like, why do I have to do this? And guys, I felt so bad. It's like that first appointment I had with my son where he had to get shots and they look at you like, mommy, please, why this hurts so bad? But you feel helpless as a parent because you know they have to go through that. They have to have those checks and get those shots and things like that. And oh man, I almost cried right there in the um, in the vet's office just because she looked at me when they were doing it like, ah, you know, and it was only 10 seconds, but still 10 seconds of her little life that, you know, she's only 10 weeks old. So it's like, her first traumatic experience and so I felt bad but she's starting to um she's starting to warm up and be herself again you know the last couple hours so I think she'll be okay uh but yeah guys it has been a great wonderful experience I feel like a new mommy all over again you know we cuddle she's always in my lap guys I'll be sure to maybe post a picture uh, on my Facebook or something where you can see that I'm working at my desk and she's right there at the keyboard. Like I don't feel safe anywhere else, but your lap mommy. So I'm going to lay right here with you. And she's just so relaxed and comfortable uh, with us. And she has really just assimilated into the house. She is part of Wonderland now. She really is. And I love her dearly. So guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to another, I guess you call this a story time, another story time on being a newborn's mommy. <laughs> and uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be sure to bring her back on the camera uh, as often as I can as she's growing so you guys can keep track of her progress just like we are. I love you guys and I will see you next time on another video. Bye-bye.